Good morning. It's Tuesday, May the 12th. It's a sunshiny day here in Maryland. A little cool, but sunshiny. We're looking forward to um, a little warmer days with uh, when in spring is here, but uh, it's still been pretty cool. Thought we'd start this morning with a couple of, of prayers before we um, do the general thanksgiving. So, let us pray. O God of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by the outbreak of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken, relieve their pain, and restore to them your gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Watch over first responders, those in the medical professions, whose duty it is to care for the sick, and all those who serve in medical research and in industries who are continuing to work so that we still might have access to those things that are essential for our needs. Guard each of these people from all danger and keep them safe in the knowledge that it is through their sacrifice and service that the wholeness of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept our prayers, O God of all comfort, and our only help in time of need. Amen. I happened to be looking this morning um, for something in the in a little book called St. Augustine's Prayer Book. And I came across something that reminded me that even while we're in the midst of this COVID-19 coronavirus crisis, we're also, we also still need to be reminded of our, our work, our work in terms of the things that we can do for others, in terms of our prayers. And I came across this prayer attributed to Lancelot Andrews. Lancelot Andrews was a high churchman in England. He was a bishop um, in the 15 and 1600s. And he wrote this prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, I give my hands to do your work, my feet to follow in your ways, my eyes to see as you see, my tongue to speak your words. Take my mind and let my thoughts dwell always on you, and in my spirit pray always within me. Above all, I give you my heart, that in me you may love your Father and all people, I give you myself, that you may grow in me, so that it is you, Lord Jesus, who lives and works and prays in me. Amen. I thought that was a, a very nice prayer to remind us that we're still uh, obligated to contribute to the wholeness of the world and that Christ indeed lives within us, and that we should take the Christ's life in us and radiate that out to other people. So in the spirit of being thankful this morning, let us turn to page 101 in the Book of Common Prayer and say together the general thanksgiving. Again, page 101 in the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. 
but above all for your measurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with whom to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. I hope this morning finds you well. I hope you will continue to be well, uh, be safe, stay in if you can, be careful and be careful if you can't. And now I ask that the Lord bless you and keep you, that the Lord cause his face to shine upon you, that the Lord be gracious unto you and give you peace. Amen. I hope you will join Reverend Ann tomorrow morning, who will be doing morning prayer. And I hope you will join Chris Paul and Brother Les Roberts each evening at 8.30 uh, for Compline. And now, I hope you have a very good day.